Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to derive the distance formula. So I want to look on the Cartesian plane at the points x1, y1 and x2, y2. And I want to show that the distance between these two points can be found by using the distance formula d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So to get started I want to connect these two points x1, y1 and x2, y2. And this straight line segment, we can label D, where D represents the distance between these two points. But now, what would be an alternate way of getting from the point x1, y1 to x2, y2? Well, we could trace a path from x1, y1 to x2, y2. And the path I want to look at, I want to travel horizontally and then vertically. I want to travel horizontally to the point x2, y1. So from x1, y1, I want to go to this point, x2, y1. And then from this point, I want to travel a vertical distance to the point, x2, y2. So I want to trace a path from x2, y1 to the point, x2, y2. And now, we've just created a right triangle. Except now, next, I want to find the lengths of these sides of the right triangle. Well, this horizontal leg, what could we call this leg if it's sandwiched between the x-coordinates x2 and x1? Well, subtraction is a really effective way to model the distance between two coordinates. So we could call this leg x2 minus x1. And a quick explanation of why this works. Well, suppose for a second that this, this x-coordinate was 5, and let's say this x-coordinate was 8. We could just count the distance between them to be 1, 2, 3. We would go to 6, 7, and then 8. Or we could use subtraction. We could use x2 minus x1, so we would do 8 minus 5 is also 3. So subtraction is just an effective way to model distance between two coordinates. So by that same argument, we could call this missing vertical leg y2 minus y1 because this vertical leg is sandwiched between the two y coordinates y2 and y1 so the distance or the length of this leg is simply y2 minus y1 which tells us the distance between these two coordinates here so now we have a right triangle and we have three sides of the right triangle so we could use the Pythagorean theorem which states if we have a right triangle with side lengths or leg lengths a, b, and hypotenuse c, we could set up the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So if we apply the Pythagorean theorem to this right triangle, we could set up the equation x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared is equal to d squared. And notice how D is, in fact, the hypotenuse of this right triangle. So now to solve for D, all we need to do is take the square root of both sides. And the next line will, in fact, be our distance formula. So we have D equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So this proof shows that the distance formula is just another way of restating the Pythagorean theorem on the Cartesian plane. It's just a little bit more useful to use the distance formula when you're looking at coordinates on the plane. Because all you need to do is just plug those coordinates into this formula. Otherwise, the second way to find the distance between two points on the Cartesian plane would be to simply sketch a right triangle. So that just shows you you have a graphical way to solve distance problems, and you also have an algebraic way to solve distance problems. Okay, well this is going to conclude this proof, as well as this video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that it was helpful.